Oh! We have come across a beautiful tree here. All right. <laughs> Is that the Nardo Grain Patrol from Blackstone? Yeah, fresh respray. First time out of the house. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Black Stump. This time we've headed out for a rainy overnighter at Scenic Rim Adventure Park, about two hours south of Brisbane. I've made the trek in my patrol, along with Darcy in his Jimny and Kino in his 100 series cruiser. As well as the rain, things were going to be even more interesting since I had no power steering in the patrol. This meant that to have any chance of steering at all, I had to leave the front tyres at road pressures. With the sun heading towards the horizon and rain clouds looming above, we hit the first track for the trip, a steep and rocky climb to the top of the property. Just garby things. You'll need to go back more and get more momentum for that again. As the sun disappeared and raindrops began to fall, we pushed on to get up the track and back to camp as soon as possible. Did anyone just see that? Thanks to a bit of momentum and plenty of attempts, the Zook made it to the top and we headed back to camp for a very rainy night. The next morning we woke up and got straight into it, with some slightly grippier climbs in the rocky section of the park. 
we decided to save the clay of the rainforest for the afternoon in hope that it would dry out just a little bit first. PSI in the front tires, he's not going to crawl it. Alex arrived in his locked and lifted 75 series to join us for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, I reckon I can get through that. If I can group up.
then decided it was time to head to the jungle section of the park, which as it turned out, hadn't really dried out at all and was ridiculously slippery. There was nothing that a bit of right foot couldn't solve though, or so I thought. All right, so we're going up a blue track, just a bit of POV GQ action. Off camera towards that bush in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Lord, what have you done? So, what seems to be the issue, mate? I'm just waiting for a mate. Alright, thanks so on, on this week's episode of Blackstone Bushwalking, we have come across a beautiful tree here. Hello. <laughs> Is that the Nardo Grain Patrol from Blackstone? Yeah, fresh respray. First time out of the house. <laughs> oh, I think we've had a kiss. Oh, think... we're definitely touching. <laughs> That's what stopped us sliding. The gutter is hard pressed up against the tree. Oh, mwah! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're going around this corner here on the uh, easy green track. Hit a slight soft patch. Slid into the bushes. Then reverse about 10 meters through the bushes into a tree. So yeah, now it's now it's stuck there. If I go forwards, I'll destroy all of that backwards. And if I go backwards, I'll destroy everything from the driver's door forwards. So just deciding which one is, is gonna be less painful, but yeah, we'll give it a crack. Were you yeah. playing Tokyo Drift while you went around this corner? <laughs> no. <laughs> Two kilometers an hour slide into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lost today. This is where the carnage started. And that's where the carnage ended. With the tyres clogged full of clay, every time I touched the throttle, the car slid further down the bank until it finally got stopped by the tree. After some thinking, we decided to use some max tracks under the front two tyres, which would hopefully give me a split second of grip to steer the front end away from the tree as I reversed. Rather miraculously, my dodgy respray held up to the scratching. Aside from some minor dings and bending of the gutter, the patrol escaped with barely a mark. For the rest of the Arvo, I put the camera away and we messed around on some more slippery tracks and then headed home. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and have a good one.